Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm talking with the cast of The Menu. Let's take a first look. Welcome. We'll endeavor to make your evening as pleasant as possible. Welcome to Hawthorne. Oh, let me start and say, <laughs> you're reading this script. Yeah. Are you like going through and just trying to figure out the story or are you trying to figure out, okay, what's going on with my character? Well, the first thought was, this is amazing. I'm never going to get this. Um, <laughs> and then the second thought was, I just found it so, I don't want to use the word clever because it sounds trivial, but I found it so smart, you yeah. know, and there's kind of everything you want as an audience goer. I know that I want something that is clever. I want something that's funny. I want something that's going to surprise me and shock me, but also going to hold up a mirror to my, my experience in society, you know, in this political climate. So I found that it ticked all those boxes. I um, mean, yeah, I, I love the script. I love the sort of highfalutin, high art kind of script, you know. But I, I you know, I definitely, story is king for me. Mm. It's got to be a great story. But then I, also I got to have a character that I haven't done or some kind of challenge mm. for me to be interested in. And I, and I thought this was really dark but funny. And you, Americans don't really do that that much. So I really love that. You know, Europeans always do black humor, but not, like in terms of uh, dark humor, but Americans don't. When I read the script that Seth and Will wrote, their, um, the, the delicacy, the fragility with which they handle the psychology of every one of these characters was mind-blowing to me. That's what this script really is. And how would I fit into that? How would I serve this this the, this frame that we were given, how would I serve it best? By being a couple that you think you know, stereotypically, but is not the couple underneath at all. And so it was, it was a combination of the way I was relating around it. I got, I got you two nestled like right here, so. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is great. Oh, Nick, look at you over the shoulder, over the shoulder. <laughs> what, what's funny about this, though, what I like is that, see, Andy, you're so beautiful. He should be looking at you, but instead he's looking at the food, like the character in the movie, which is brilliant. I mean, Tyler has his priorities. I'm just, I'm just saying. Is that going to fit everyone? Yeah, easily. 12 customers total. How do they turn a profit? 12.50 a head, that's how. What, are we eating a Rolex? One of his classics. You have to try the mouse feel of the mignonette. Please don't say mouse feel. <laughs> Nick, I was trying to figure out when you're in this, do you go to set empty? I mean, did they give you a spit bucket? Because you're just chowing away and everything. Like, I don't know if you even like went through a boot camp separately to like really just be this guy. Your stomach. I did, yeah. I spent months preparing yeah. my stomach ready. There was no spit bucket. I do all my own eating in films. Uh, you and Christian Bale, it's just a different Christian. commitment. Yeah. To, yeah. Uh, so I just, I did, I just went in and I ate as much as I could every day for my, for my art. Listen, well, so it, is, it is, it is actually impressive because it is, you know, it, it's quite punishing. And I, I, there were a couple of days where I was a bit concerned about Nick's health. Um, sweating. But he is committed and um, he went hard. I think you, bread gate day was hard but then steak day was better. What a joy. Yeah, steak day was better. <laughs> In terms of this script, because I'm wondering, you know, when you get this script and you're going through it, is it, are you looking at the overall story to kind of figure out how is it going to end? Or are you looking at your character and trying to figure out what's going on with her? How am I going to play her? Or when you close it, is it just more of now I'm hungry, especially with your character. Now I'm hungry. I know I need to go get some food. <laughs> <laughs> um. Something I, I've been so, so lucky uh, with my career thus far that characters have really spoken to me and, you know, we belong to one another. And I think with the menu, I had just been, I'd been reading a lot of scripts where I just, I knew where it was going or I felt like I had played it before or I just thought, you know, I wasn't excited by it. And you've seen the film. How on earth could anyone know where that film was going? Like, what is that end scene? It's mental um but Nick and I were talking about this earlier I think you know that you're going to end up doing something when you start like sitting like them or you begin to walk like them or starting to say the dialogue and then you realize you're a goner and um yeah you're you're probably gonna do it <laughs>
You can find the menu now playing in theaters.